It's time for baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the Washington Nationals and the Marlins. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, man, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He's one of those guys you wanted to play in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Arlene Garcia, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. What's your take on him, Dan? Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. Check out the Miami Marlins on defense. Hey, let's focus on Cameron Maven in the outfield. One of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport. He's able to cover a ton of ground, gap to gap. I almost feel like he's playing left center to right center. He's not playing center field. He's got it all covered, bailing the other guys out, and not shabby with the offensive tool either. In now, Trey Turner. He will lead this one off today. First delivery to him on the way. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Fouled away. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Daniel Murphy now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Garcia has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Brinson, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting third, the right fielder, number 34. Right. Harper. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Swing and a liner. Maven is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, I think the focus has to be on Cameron Maven. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. 
Max Scherzer is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not Agent 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid-90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. Time for a look at the curly W on D. And let's focus our attention on the guy behind the dish, Matt Weeders. Not easy to do his job at get out of that crouch at six foot four, six foot five, and throw an absolute rocket down to second base. And oh, by the way, hit from both sides of the plate. Look for him to have a big day. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. Here comes Scherzer on 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's Starlin Castro. And Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Softly hit out towards short. And an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. Adding third, right fielder, David Rosario. Into the box, David Rosario. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Missed with a slider. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And what's the call? It's a home run. And now hold everything here. We're going to have a conference down that first base line. And there may be some discussion as to whether or not this was really a fair ball. And you can see the umpires pointing down the right field line. We may have a situation here where they'll need to go and review whether or not this was really a home run. And that's precisely what's going to happen as we'll give you a look on our monitors here. All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, d -Row. and listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Two out, nobody on. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Harper. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. I 
know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Batting for Patrick J.T. Into the box now, J.T. Real Muto. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Miami. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ryan Zimmerman. First pitch coming. Here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. He's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here it comes on nothing and two. Ground ball foul down the left side. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. And this is swung on and missed by Zimmerman as he sat down on strikes for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. In now is Anthony Rendon. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One out, nobody on. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. At the plate, Michael Taylor. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. The bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. On the run is Brinson. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Nationals gone in order. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. Stepping in, Justin Bohr has battles with Scherzer. He's got five base hits in 25 tries. He's taken him deep once. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. In 
into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best that ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Martin Prado now. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Adding seven, the shortstop, Miguel. Now with the plate, Miguel Rojas. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Set. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line in left. And no one will track it down. Oh, had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. And that'll bring in the multi dimensional Lewis Brinson. As Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Into the box now, Ryan Rayburn. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading Ready off the back third back. after the first six Bob guys Raven. in the lineup have been retired Ryan in order. Rayburn. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Mm -hmm. Just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. No one can make a play, and the first Nationals hit is going to be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. So striding in, Matt Wieters, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled off. His approach to the plate right here has to be to the right side. If he gets it through the infield, that tying run might come around, but at the very least, that would get the runner to third with less than two outs. A ball and a strike to count to the switch hitting catcher, Matt Wieters. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two.
saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. And now for Washington, Max Scherzer. And with a runner already in scoring position and one away, he is likely not to be bunting here. Castro ranging into shallow right, but he won't get there. It falls in. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Rayburn on second. Scherzer is over at first with one away. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Maben is there. Two gone. Now batting. Second base. Daniel Murphy. Riding in once again. Daniel Murphy. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Ready. Here's the first offering. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. <laughs> Working for the punch out and the offering. Now he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. To short. Out with the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that 4 4 throw. Tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. All tied at one and one. Now with the plate, Arlene Garcia will start things out here for the Marlins with Cameron Maben to follow on deck. First pitch on its way. Line to the right side, but foul. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate, you can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. Here's Cameron Maben now. As Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. He went down swinging to start the home first. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Faces are empty, one man out. way in front of a great slider that time and he's safe at first so he's aboard on the drop third strike so good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout but he's aboard on the drop third strike settling in now Starlin Castro will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning Scherzer will check it first. Runner back safely.
Here comes the first pitch. Runners on the move for second. In there, now the throw. And he is out at second base on a great throw from Weeders. Boy, that throw was right on the money. Yeah, you said it, Matt. That was a lot of practice paying off right there. Great footwork, quick release, and an absolute strike down the second. Take notes, kids. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now the 0 1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Taylor will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. At the plate, Bryce Harper will step in to start things for the Nationals. He'll be followed by Ryan Zimmerman waiting on deck. Harper. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one just missed outside. First in time, one gone here in the fourth. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And as you can see there, both guys topping out at 96 miles an hour. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Ryan Zimmerman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So a solo home run here for Ryan Zimmerman. And the Nationals take a 2-1 to one lead. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Into the box, Michael Taylor. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Nationals on the board on the home run by Ryan Zimmerman. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's two to one Washington. Stepping into the box, 
David Rosario, and he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I mean, this is the classic case of ambush tactics at its finest, but this is getting a little ridiculous. I'd like to see some of these guys in the lineup work the count a little bit and find themselves on base and maybe drive this guy's pitch count. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center, calling for it, Rayburn. And that's the first out of the inning. Now back, after J.P. Will Utah. So here's the cleanup hitter, J.T. Real Muto. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First offering on its way. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Hey, I never want to take an offense's aggression away, but they've been swinging at a lot of pitches early in the count. Find themselves down. I think they need to regroup, have a meeting in the dugout, and figure out a way to maybe look at some pitches. And he falls behind 0-2. Here comes Scherzer on 0-2. And, and he got him. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. In now, Justin Bohr. As Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Scherzer's ready. Here's the 0-1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. Our score remains two to one. Ready now, Ryan Rayburn he scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Slider taken here, one ball, one strike. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter, that hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there in advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Popped him up. Riamuto over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The pitcher number two. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Max Scherzer. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been 
pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. They lead it two to one. Martin Prado now. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Martin Prado. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The high fastball is in there. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Murphy is right there. One gone. The batter, the short shot. Miguel Rojas. Standing in, Miguel Rojas. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that's in there, base hit. Dan, yeah, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson as Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. One pitch on a rope to the second baseman and it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag they settled with just the one out into the box now Arlene Garcia he was a strikeout victim in his first try Scherzer comes set. First pitch on its way. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. One one takes a pass and misses that strike two. The one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three. One left for Miami. They're down two one. Stepping in, Trey Turner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Bouncer up the middle. 
throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Stepping into the box, Daniel Murphy, a hit in two tries for him so far. It's really been an amazing transition for Daniel Murphy, known more as an average type hitter, Matt, when he was a member of the New York Mets, but since he's put on a Nationals uniform, boy, the power surge has come, and it has not stopped. Outside, 3-0 and now. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three-ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. And that misses for ball four. Now batter, right fielder, right. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Alex Wimmers will come on now and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. Alex. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Murphy, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. The one one popped him up. Four over to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Now the 0-2 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Low scoring game thus far. 2-1 to one here in the sixth. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Nationals lead one. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Steven Strasburg enters to do the now pitching in the one. bottom of the sixth. Number 37, Steven Strasburg. Here's Cameron Maben now. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, he's a 333 hitter. Cameron Maben. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a first pitch changeup that swung on and chopped foul right at home plate. Comes set and the 0-1. And he fouls this one off. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Weeders has it. And the throw is there to record the first down. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Here's Starlin Castro. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0 and 2 now. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. One run on three hits and one error so far for the Marlins. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Rayburn is after it. 
And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now back right fielder, David Rosario. Ready once again, David Rosario. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Right over the middle, knee high. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head on straight. Throw in time. Oh, and that was some effort. And with it, the side is retired. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More spring training baseball from Florida following this. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. Adam Eaton is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Adam Eaton. Now a bunt attempt here. Prado scoops it up, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Well, he was planning that before he even got in the box, and he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Howie Kendrick will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. And he misses with it one and one. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of or else it'll take off just like that one did. Popped him up. Castro is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. How about it? That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Into the box now, Ryan Rayburn. A ball and no strikes. One for two in the ball game thus far. One and one to count. A one one. It's strike two swinging. I don't think he's going to triple up on change up right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Eric Fetty is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Brian Goodwin is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Adrian Sanchez will come in as well as a part of the double switch. Now at the plate, JT Wilmuto, who up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far from them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Grounded back up the middle. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Now that first baseman, Justin Ball. Your attention, please. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Now batting, Justin Bohr. No hits to this point.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now the 1 0. And right into the shift. And there are two away now. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Trevor Gott takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a ball shot foul down the left side. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One. Junichi Tazawa has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Junichi Tazawa. Now at the plate, Matt Weeders. Previously against Junichi Tozawa, he's a 333 hitter. Matt Weeder. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waving on it is Brinson, one down. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. At the plate, Brian Goodwin, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. Down the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Again, he sends it out of play. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. A good afternoon of spring training baseball thus far as you get a look here at our line score through the first seven. Wilmer Defoe will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. Right. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They lead it two to one. Wilmer Defoe will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop, number one. Joaquin Benoit is going to come on now as he's already up to ten appearances here in the spring. Number 53. Joaquin Digging in, Miguel Rojas. Last time through was a base hit. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1 0 delivery. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Goodwin. Makes the play one away. The left fielder, number nine, Owen Brinson. And that'll bring in the multi dimensional Lewis Brinson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Derek Dietrich will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Derek Dietrich. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Rayburn ranging back. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat. And this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Here's Cameron Mabin now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. Throw one. Get him at first. An infield single. And it's first and third now. And that's a great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy. You can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. It just wasn't meant to be. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Trying to do way too much up there from what I can tell. He knows that's a big run standing there at third, but that swing was way out of control. You still have to stay within yourself and look for your pitch. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And there he goes towards second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more from the Grapefruit League after this. Justin Nicolino enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Matt Adams will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. Leading off for Washington. He pulls this one into right. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. 
jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. Robles is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Slapped hard the opposite way. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A ball of no strikes. out nobody on hey. that one finds the target on the outer half it's one and two still one and two four trying to get there and no one will get this one the one two drill down the line but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two Shot to third. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They still lead it two to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Ryan Matson is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Number 44, Ryan Matson. Now playing right field is batting the Matt Reynolds, meanwhile, will bat in his spot as he takes over at second base here. Now at second base, number 17, Matt Reynolds. Stepping in, Starlin Castro. He'll start things out against Ryan Madsen as he looks to get the final three outs. Starlin Castro! First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that one just missed outside. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Giving Chase his good one. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Right fielder. David Rosario. Up next for Miami. David Rosario. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Pitch on the way. That's a ball. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The 1 0 home. Pulled toward right center field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Marlins. Catcher. J.T. Realmuto. Stepping in and ready for another shot. J.T. Realmuto. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball right back to the mound. 
And he'll just flip this one onto the bag at first, and that will conclude matters here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Nats took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Max Scherzer is the winning pitcher of record. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left three men on base. For the Marlins, one run, five hits. One error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. And please, drive home safely.